How you doing? And thanks for watching. This is George, your number one source for construction and emergency safety and strobe lighting here at Wicked Warnings. What we're looking at right now is a little bit of trailer work. <clears throat> we're featuring our Raptor LED on those rear doors. That's an amber and white light. It's selectable. Amber flash, white flash, or as we see here, amber and white flash. Down below that on the outer corners, we see our TIR3. That's an amber, alternately flashing triple flash that's a 75 fpm alternate flash pattern that it's on right now wig wagon left and right in amber those lights are available in all five popular colors amber white green red blue the upper lights the raptor are only available in that amber white combo but as i said you can select amber white or amber white flash as we're shown here those upper lights the raptor also have another feature our flood feature as you can see there, we've got the flood feature hooked up to a secondary switch that'll override the warning. As you can see, we still have the lower warning if we do have the warning activated. And we can steady white flood those upper lights. That'll help when we're back in the trailer onto a job site or if we just need a little bit of extra loading light while we're loading up this trailer. Here's a little off-axis light for you, a little bit of view there. Now this is a dump trailer, so it has an onboard battery. So I am powering these lights with the onboard battery. You can elect to wire these lights switched off the truck if you want on your own. This job, we are powering them right off of the tongue mounted onboard battery with a simple push button switch. One of our simple three quarters, uh, or actually this is a, a rubber mounted waterproof switch. One of our newest switches. Mounting was fairly simple for the Raptors. We stood them off with 10 millimeter stainless steel hardware. We ran the wiring along the top of the body like that. Fairly simple install. These are placed right here, center door, customer's request. I'm not gonna tell you how to run wiring on a trailer. I'm hoping you can figure that out on your own. It's fairly easy. Follow the OEM wiring. Down here, we've got our TIR3s mounted right next to the OEM marker light there. Mounted them vertically wanted to get these as wide as possible to give a, a, a good impression of how big the trailer is from far away. So that's why we put the TIR threes here. As I explained earlier, we're mounting everything right here on the tongue box inside this box is a battery. So we're powering right off of that battery. We've got two switches right here. Got a single switch. I set up an indicator light here. This is a dual color indicator light, custom item from Wicked Warnings right here. Now this is the indicator for our strobe lighting. I did this because it was all facing backwards and I figured it would just be easier during the day to see this indicator light and know that the lighting was on versus running around behind the trailer just to double check. Now the secondary switch right here, this is for your flood white indicator actually has a white and an amber light in it they're both illuminated but it's hard to see right now because of the iso uh the white overrides uh and kind of drowns out the amber but as you see if the amber is off the white will come on and then see the difference there in the color so in real life you can see both colors the camera just has a hard time picking it up let me see if the iso might be able to do something about that no, i can't seem to get it picked up so anyways this is how we did it Fairly easy install. Hopefully you can do something similar on your trailer. Check the links in the descriptions for all these parts. The description of this video will have two Raptors and two TIR3s linked in it so you can get these parts. I'll also link to that switch and I'll link to that dual color indicator light. Thank you very much for watching Wicked Warnings. We'll see you on the next video. Keep us in mind that we're your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting and equipment right here in Chicago, Illinois, shipping worldwide. Thanks again for watching.